I'm back. I like cats, I like cats, I like cats, the Tori Show. Yes. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Tori, aka that Tori girl, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna talk about the fuckboys of the month. I've made a video in the past where I talked about how to send dick pics, and I got a lot of comments, you know, mostly from followers of mine and they were kind of just like, man, you know, I'm sorry stuff like this happened to you or those guys are assholes or whatever. Um, and I think it's kind of easy to hear about getting dick pics or hear about online harassment and not really think about it and think about it, how it actually happens or how often or why. So I just want to share with you guys just some of the fuckboy messages I have gotten this month. And this is like a, a loosely translated month. Now keep in mind, I am not a fan of call-out culture. I don't think it does any good to shame someone or, you know, screenshot a conversation and post it on my Instagram and be like, everyone tell this guy he's a fucking piece of shit. I personally don't think that helps the situation, so I'm not going to actually tell you the usernames of these people because I don't want you guys to go and harass them because two wrongs don't make a right, right? So whatever, without further ado, so this message. This message slid into my DMs, and it is just a close-up picture of a penis. With the caption, can you come sit on this? No. Thank you. Firstly, I'd like to point out that while I am naked on the internet, I do not force anyone to look at my pictures. I am not sending them to your inbox. I'm not putting posters up around town. I'm not forcing you guys to look at anything. So I think it's fucking ridiculous that people find it okay to force me to look at their penis. I don't want to look at your penis. Please don't send it to me. This other message this one, this I, I especially don't get is when you get a message or a picture and they don't even caption it for you. Just like, BAM! freaking. <laughs> so this is just a, um, a full body selfie of this guy, a mirror selfie with no pants on. With his, um, kind of... with his very unimpressive penis. And that's it. That's the whole message, just, just that. This was 7.30 in the morning, okay? It's fucking, god damn. Come on, 7.30, you haven't even had some cereal yet. Chill out. Fuckboy number three decided that he was just gonna send me a video in action with no commentary nothing just just abusing himself there's this kid that just said I want to see an uncensored version of your pics I responded with I want a puppy you don't always get what you want guys not how life works. Oh, this one, this one was, this one was sad in so many ways. Oh my God, you are so hot. Your boobs look so nice. Can I see them please? Now I have to say, I can appreciate that he asked nicely. This to me is not the worst kind of message I could get. It is completely exhausting and so boring to me to constantly get asked for pictures and this and that and whatever, like just like. But I can appreciate that he had manners. The problem with this message is 
This person is a 14 year old boy. First of all, parents, if you're gonna give your kid a smartphone, you need to be supervising what they're doing on it. Because this 14 year old kid is going around asking for boobs. That's appropriate. It's yucky. And against the law. Like, on top of the fact that I have no interest in sending you a picture of my boobs, I will go to jail for that. Not cool, dude. This person decided he would start a conversation with me first, which I do appreciate. That is in the rules of my house send a dick pic. Yeah, so we're talking, you know, your pics are damn hot, I'm crazy for you. Thanks. You know, again, I'm always very polite. Then he just comes in with the request. Send me some, this kind of hot pic of you. No. I don't work for you. I don't know why people don't realize that, but this is my job. And I don't do it for free. And I don't do it just because you asked. And I don't do it just for anyone. If you want to see my pictures, you can go to suicidegirls.com, get a membership, or you can join my Patreon page. It's that simple. Can you give me a blowjob? No. God, you're such a fuckboy. This one got me... This one got me riled up, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. This person says, I would love to follow you, but I follow for follow. Does it look like I give a shit? I didn't come to your page saying, follow me. You found me and then want to have the nerve to try to bargain? Not interested. As you can see from my commentary, very polite back. He then thinks I don't understand. I understand what you're saying, I just don't give a fuck. The way this conversation ends, actually, is this person ended up telling me I was very rude for not wanting to follow them. And not that this is something that I don't have any interest in following people or strangers, but I think it's really important that you follow people that you're interested in seeing. I can't follow every single person that asks me to follow them, because then when I went on my Instagram feed, or my Twitter feed or whatever it is, I would just see a bunch of bullshit I don't want to see and I would miss the things that I care about. I would miss my friends, I would miss, you know, people with networking. So I think you, I think everyone should realize that before you ask someone to follow you back is that if you want someone to follow you, you should give them a reason to follow you. Have good content. I get asked to follow people every single day. And I, I just, I physically cannot do that. So that doesn't make me rude. That makes me a person. So follow me because you're interested in what I'm doing and my pictures, but don't beg me to follow you back and then tell me I'm rude. Because you're rude. This captain of fuckboy decides to comment on a picture of me and say, how about a nose job? Just out of nowhere, which is fine. Um, it's a really far away picture of me, so it's not even like a close up of my face, which I could see like if it was like a really close selfie, I could see like you want to comment and say I need a fo uh, you want to comment and say that I need a nose job, but it's just like a full far away modeling picture, and that's fine. I'm not offended by this comment. What I thought was so funny was he try to insult me, most likely to get my attention, and then said, check your DMs. And I look at my DMs, and it's a picture of his penis. So I didn't open it, because that's the handy thing about Instagram these days, is you can kind of put, you can see what's going to be in the thing without opening it. So I didn't open it, and I was just like, no. And I commented back to him on my picture, just like, no thank you, whatever. His penis picture did say, do you like? No me gusta. But he then continued to rapid fire comment to me. Seriously, check your DM. Please check your DM. Check your DM and then I'll stop. Check your DM. You fucking know. Chill the fuck out. 
And no, I don't want to see your grimy little penis, dude. So there we have it, guys. Those are just some of the fuckboys of the month. I love my followers so much, and I love the ones that are so kind to me. But I never want you guys to get into an argument or to say something to someone who's either insulting me or being an ass or a fuckboy or whatever. I'm mostly just showing this to everyone to show you guys what really happens, what's really going on out there. It's not just huge big girls and celebrities. It's not just happening to Kim Kardashian. This stuff is happening to girls everywhere on the internet. Big followings, small followings, you know, whatever it is. And it's shitty. It's so annoying. And it's mostly annoying in the sense that, like I said, it's just, it's exhausting. What I find so interesting is just the amount of people that feel like they can honestly just sexually harass you just because they decided that they could. At the end of the day, those dick pictures are sexual harassment. You can't walk up and just show someone your body, so you should be able to do it online. And I really hope and urge that the laws on this get stricter. I think there should be like a tally system. If you do it enough, you should like lose your right to social media. <laughs> So like I said, I just thought these things were funny, I wanted to share them with you so you guys can kind of get a taste of why I can't deal with my phone some days. <laughs> but super love and hugs to all my awesome followers, the people that interact with me and are polite and are caring and ask about my day and are just super cool. You guys know who you are. You're going to be commenting on the video here or you hang out with me when I periscope. So. I love you guys so much and I'm so appreciative and you guys make all of these fuckboys just not even a dip in the radar. So the good definitely outweighs the bad and I really appreciate that. You guys make it worth it. As always guys, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see from me in the future and I hope to talk to you soon. Just touch with my dirty finger. It'll be fine, right? <laughs>